Well, for a spy organisation, clearly we're changing track now. The uh, GCSB has had a remarkably high profile over the past few weeks. Reports from the Parliamentary Law and Order Select Committee hearings have sparked fierce political debate, screeds of media copy and nationwide public protest. But how relevant is all, the, all of this to uh, Māori? Well, joining me to discuss this is political activist Marama Davidson. Kia ora. Kia ora. Thanks for coming in to join ora, us this Mariana. morning. Mm. So, I mean, let's start there. I mean, it's easy to see how all of this uh, concerns all of New, all New Zealanders, mm -hmm. but you say Māori in particular. Why? Like the Occupy movement, which was uh, standing up against imperial forces that are now beginning to affect the rest of the world, Māori have been under surveillance and have been targeted as a group for centuries that colonisation has happened here. If we go back to Parihaka, for example, and we think about the 1600 um, people who raided a peace settlement and people who were standing up for their mana motuhake, they were branded terrorists, they were branded rebels, and the law was actually used to steal lands, to imprison our own people. Parihaka was just, is just one example. We've got the Tuhoe and Uruwera raids that happened more recently about how specific groups will be targeted because they dissent against the government. And if we have a look at what were they standing up for, they were standing up for their rights as mana whenua of their own lands. This wasn't about terrorism at all. They, they simply wanted to stand for their right to be themselves. So are you saying that Māori will be the most targeted group or should be the most concerned group? Māori should be concerned but also peace activists, um, people who want to care for our living systems that we all share and so in that respect we can see that people standing up for those sorts of rights are actually standing for all of us so all New Zealanders will benefit from people who want to care for our living environment, our living systems. Um, Māori who want to protect their uh, waters from risky deep sea oil drilling for example and we have already seen in history not just in Aotearoa but around indigenous um, uh, communities in the world surveillance has been used to target those very groups. So, so let, me, let me just ask you then should the government be able to surveil Kiwis at all? I would again go back to the questions that the um, that New Zealanders need to ask first and foremost. What are our biggest threats and who exactly? And from Prime Minister John Key, we haven't had those questions answered at all very clearly until he sort of, oh, hang on, wait, there might have been that guy and he might have been, you know. And so he's now trying to scramble for an answer to those questions and still he's not very clear. He's doing the whole may or may not have been... Um, spied on. So we need to be very clear about why. Um, already, um, and I acknowledge the great Helen Clark was in the studio with us earlier, but already we have seen surveillance laws um, be used more likely to harass um, our own people who are actually not a threat to our national security at all. I don't, I think this is a big power that, grab. But that's, that's the arguable bit, isn't it? Is how much people are uh, a risk, I guess, to, to safety and security. I mean, um, um, it, it's, well, even Helen Clark was saying that yeah, actually and I wonder the how law is okay. It just needs the, the, the fact that we have the law is, is a good thing, but we need to change it. Clearly, there these, are holes in it. Yeah, the legislation, the extension of these powers, we need to go back and have a look. Who is this a part of? The Five Eye Network, they are the old colonial powers at the helm of pushing this extension to legislation. We need to be really worried about this continuation of imperial takeover that they are wanting for the world. So I've got UK. US, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, white traditional colonial groups who now want to spread the extension of these powers across the world. So how do we protect Māori in your view? I think Māori and New Zealanders now need to come together and say it's not just Māori, it's social activist groups, it's peace, it's environmental groups, who all it's New Zealanders, so it's you, yeah, Basically it's, what you're saying is, is that protest action, valid protest action might, might be under threat, it might be at risk, but how do we protect the rights of Māori? I think that Māori will have to keep doing what we've always been doing, standing, being strong, having our voices very clear and definitely making alliances with the rest of the country, the rest of New Zealand really need to understand. I think that's what our biggest challenge is. This is a complicated bit of legislation. How do we allow all New Zealanders to understand what on earth is happening here? How to understand it but also to, to, to protect everybody. I mean, yeah. you know, these, these, this uh, act protects against crime. You know, we, how do we deal with things like cybercrime? crime and drug deals, that sort of thing. Sure. Um, but 
this notion so I think uh, we already had about. those protections I think that we already had those protections um, and again if we want to look at America you know all the surveillance in the world they still have terrorist attacks that happen to them and so it's not so much about the law that is needing to protect us it's about how we operate as a country are we being leaders <coughs> in peace or are we going to grab onto the US warmongering agenda maybe that's actually the threat to our national security what about entrenching the treaty the treaty is part of indigenous rights for all around the world that have been absolutely abused. So is, we, is this we the need answer, to be, though? Uh, I don't have all the answers, but I think we need to be really clear. We've got the treaty, we've got the UN Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous People, which this very government made a big celebration about, saying, oh, look, aren't we so good? And we're supposed to be this leading country of the world who have a good record as citizens, which Helen Clark also said this morning. We have these documents. We need to enforce them so that we can live up to that reputation. And we'll have to leave it there. Thank you so much for joining Kilda. us this morning. Uh, political activist Marama Davidson.